United Nations General Assembly designated October 1 as the International Day of Older Persons since 14th of December 1990. To mark this year's edition, the leadership of the Constitutional Local Council Development Area invited senior citizens to the Council Secretariat to celebrate and acknowledge the societal impact they've made over the years. The Council Chairman, Abolani Bada, said senior citizens deserve respect and acknowledgement for their immense communal contributions to the society over time, adding that a ton of welfare packages are in store for senior citizens in the LCDA, as always. Senior citizens are very important, so that after a lifetime of working, raising family and contributing to the social combination in context way, they decide to retire with dignity, care and love. We are aware of challenges faced by our elderly ones, health and financial issues, insecurity. However, our SCD oftentimes strive to provide support by ameliorating and learning of our senior citizens in providing food items and cash from time to time. This administration has provided food palliative and cash back up our elders. This is my desire and my very special risk of God. I shall not be left in supporting our senior citizen. I want to I want us to know that getting old is by God's grace. However, if caring, loving and beautiful people around whole day is more than we all need to make sure we are there for our grandparents and older people in general. The highlight of the event was the jollying and dancing among members of Senior Citizens Association of Nigeria. Free medical services were also made available for the elderly in need of one treatment or the other. Senior citizens appreciated the council leadership for celebrating them. Our own local government chairman here, Mayor Esambi Hatsi Bada, she has always been the person sponsoring that program, right from day one. When the National uh, Senior Citizen Center was created, she started with us when it was a year old. And this is the second anniversary, and she has always been supportive. Senior citizens were advised to always take their health seriously. They also received assurance that the state government and the Constitutional Council leadership are committed to their well-being. Today, you will see us that we, we have our medical team uh, in, in our midst today. All of these, even we have admitted some of them today. We, I won't tell you because it's sad to see part of them, 200, you know, uh, of, of uh, their, their BP. It's sad, but a lot of them have been admitted. We'll continue to check on them, and uh, we have told them they should, even when they are sitting, how to do exercise, shake their body, raise their leg. These are the things we'll continue to, you know, teach them. I will tell you, even where they have their meeting in position, the street is just being tied. Are they, are they, we just finished completion of the street for, for you know, for them to know they are part of us, we will continue to show them love. It's a laudable event and we appreciate them for bringing them together to have nice um, time, fun, they've danced, they've had exercises and um, they've, been, they've also been lectured on how to take care of themselves and what rights they have as concerning the theme of the, uh, of the year's uh, program, which talks mainly about the human rights of older people and fulfilling their rights through intergenerational synergy. So we want everybody to come together, families, private sector, public sector, state government, federal government, to ensure that this continues and we have uh, a, a, a good environment for older adults to live well in later years. The senior citizens will not forget this special day in a hurry. Oh,